So in 2019, many critics seem to be harshly dismissing Motorola as no longer relevant. I mean, fair enough, in the flagship realm, they're making about as much noise as a flatulent cockroach in a hurricane. But as far as the budget mid-range mobiles go, Motorola is still one of the top dogs, and this is its latest entry, the Moto One Vision. Like the Moto G7 handsets launched earlier in 2019, the One Vision boasts a deliciously clean version of Google's Android OS. But you also get some upgraded camera hardware and a slick new slender design here too. Not bad for under 300 quid. So I've been using the Moto One Vision as my personal handset for around a week now and here is my in-depth review and I promise you that I won't even reference that bloody Queen song a single time throughout. Apart from just then, obviously. So in most respects, the Moto One Vision sticks to Motorola's tried and tested design plan. The Gorilla Glass rear only comes in a couple of different hues, but I quite like this bluey effort complete with the lighter edging that curves neatly around for a pleasingly comfortable clutch. And yeah, like most glass handsets, it does smudge up a storm the second you pick it up, but it's also tough enough to resist scratches, no scuff so far, after a full week of heavy handling. And also it's IP52 splash resistant, which is particularly good news for any UK-based consumers who perhaps aren't expecting a healthy dose of rain every single f***ing day in August. The Moto One Vision is one of the very first smartphones to rock a 21x9 display, more on that in a bit. But one of the upshots is the lovely slim finish. In a world of massive smartphones, the 6.3 inch Moto One Vision ain't exactly compact, but it definitely does feel more manageable as a result of this design. And yes, reaching up to the top of the screen to drag down the notifications panel is about as simple as solving differential equations after five pints of vodka and some wacky backy. But luckily you can swipe it down using the rear fingerprint sensor when you need to. Phew. Anyway, as I was saying, the Moto One Vision is one of the pioneer smartphones to rock a 21x9 aspect ratio display, following on from recent Sony handsets like the Xperia 1. In other words, it's proper long and thin, fnaf fnaf. On the Xperia handsets, this was ideal for streaming 21x9 movies on the likes of Netflix, but here on the Moto One Vision, the main video streaming services are having none of it. Both Netflix and Amazon Prime black out that left side of the screen to mask the pinhole camera, so you can only really enjoy a full view experience when zooming into video on the likes of YouTube. Still, this 6.3 inch IPS panel is crisp and colourful, matching the quality of screens on rival devices almost twice the price. The visuals are reasonably punchy on the default saturated setting, but you can choose to dial this back if you prefer more sedate hues. And if you bump the brightness levels right up, you won't struggle on a summery day, especially if you live in good old Blighty. You don't get a proper stereo speaker setup here on the Moto One Vision, just a single downwards fire and mono speaker, but you do get a 3.5mm headphone jack up top and full support for the likes of Bluetooth 5, which is nice. On the software side of things, Motorola has once again delivered a clean Android One experience. In other words, Google's OS remains practically untouched. You'll find a couple of nifty bonus features like proper face recognition to complement the excellent rear-mounted fingerprint sensor, both of which do their job rather well. And the Moto app also adds in a couple of extras as well, including some helpful gesture support, though this is quite stripped back compared with the Moto G7 equivalent. Overall though, it's a nice, clean, near stock Android experience, and because this is an Android One device as well, you've got the guaranteed two years of security and OS updates for a nice bit of peace of mind, so at least you know the Moto One Vision will be supported for the foreseeable. And of course it packs in all the usual features that you would expect from a mid-ranger such as NFC support. No worries on the storage front either, you get a generous 128 gigs on board with the option to expand by up to half a terabyte by slipping a memory card into that second SIM slot. Great news if you want to carry around lots of media. Now rather than using one of Qualcomm's Snapdragon chipsets, which is of course all the rage, the Moto One Vision is actually powered by a Samsung Exynos platform instead, backed by 4 gigs of RAM. And this does the job nicely, delivering a smooth experience when you're messaging, browsing the web, streaming media, whatever. You can even indulge in some serious gaming with the likes of PUBG Mobile, playing at a perfectly acceptable frame rate. Not too surprising overall, given that clean version of Android, which means fewer background tasks churning away and stealing your valuable CPU time. However, I did have a few issues with connectivity during my first week with the Moto One Vision. The Wi-Fi connection just crapped out on me a couple of times with no warning whatsoever. I couldn't even see the Wi-Fi status up in the status bar either, because of course it's got dual SIM functionality and that narrow design means it just gets knocked out basically. Also, so the same connection drops with the mobile data and while it resolved itself rather quickly every time it did it, it's also really disruptive when you're busy streaming media at the time. Battery life on the whole is decent. A 3,500mAh cell usually makes it through a full day without complaint, although I did find myself struggling a couple of times when I spent most of the day streaming music and messaging people. Luckily, there is a power saver mode available when you're down to the dregs, and the One Vision also charges up quite quickly thanks to that turbo power 15W tech. Just 10 minutes of the plug will get you through a full commute, no worries. 
Of course, as you might have gathered given the name of this phone, one of the big features that Motorola is really bigging up is the camera tech. Around back you've got a dual lens setup with the mighty 48 megapixel primary shooter backed by a 5 megapixel depth sensor. And that comes complete with optical image stabilization, 4K video smart and a big bunch of bonus camera features. I've been thoroughly testing out the camera tech so go check out my full Moto One Vision camera review live right now for all you need to know. So after a week of living with the Moto One Vision, is it worth a punt? Well there is plenty to like here including that slender new design, the rather nice display and of course that clean stock version of Android with the guaranteed updates. But personally I think I prefer the Moto G7 Power which offers a similar experience and much improved battery life for almost 100 quid less. Sure you do have to sacrifice a couple of features like the camera AI tools but there are also some advantages as well and honestly it's no real big deal. So that's my personal take on the Motorola Moto One Vision available right now here in the UK for under £300 but what do you think? Definitely let us know in the comments down below. Go check out my camera view for full thoughts on the optics and please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech. Cheers everyone, love you!